and hello everybody and welcome back to Archangelus Gaming, Archangelus here and bring you another episode of Space Engineers and the Never Surrender campaign. Last time we were here <clears throat> I got to the point where I was trying to build these here devices, the basic refinery and the basic assembler. I had to build cert the um, wind turbines a bit higher because of the fact that they just weren't producing enough power and I needed also another one. I also built these ramp sections around so it's all nice and easy to get across say for on this side which is a little bit of a problem but before I get any further I just wanted to show you guys something that Karen Fox pointed out to me and that is if you click here you can actually access the inventory of the grid that you're currently accessing. Uh, so basically, um, if I wanted to say a, a thousand different units, like in uh, the um, Learning to Survive, rather than having to scroll through everything and then go back and forth, back and forth, scrolling up and down, and with my mouse wheel, it's a difficult challenge, I could just I don't know, grab the, let's say with the iron here, wrong one, and sling it over into the refinery, even though the two are literally right next to each other in the, um, in this particular campaign. Don't know why I was dropping it in there. Um, as you guys could probably see here as well, I've had to dig out a ton of terrain just to build these things. Got down to like the, some of the good rock here, so. Right. The other thing I wanted to point out is if we go G and also into progression, because we built, like in this case, the basic assembler, we've now unlocked a ton of other things. So I can now build like the neon lights, the passageways. Uh, light panels, and if I had the um, uh, the latest DLC the, for the automation, I could also do an inset panel and things like that. So you know, it, it always pays to unlock stuff. So you know, as you can see, it all, it all filters down inch by inch, millimeter by millimeter into everything else. So multiple things will unlock multiple other things. So like the next thing we'll probably need is no 2 H2 generator somewhere, probably over here somewhere, so that we can actually get some um, hydrogen out of ice and things like that. Uh, the next, although I, I'm going to go as a personal choice because we can always turn this thing off and on. Is going to be, <coughs> excuse me, is going to be an ore detector. See what's in the local area. You know, we want a big one so that we can actually see what we're doing. Now, we still, with a basic um, assembler, we still can't do the... Um, from the build planner uh, construction, so we are still going to have to you know, either run back or forth. Or I think, yeah, I added it to my build planner, so I can just stand here, check out what I need. So 48 steel. Just me still does mean you need to go back and forth though. Uh, 40 construction comps. Oops. Five motor. Twenty-five computer and twenty detectors. So yeah, we are still going to need to grind quite a bit. But middle mouse button that to get the parts. As you can see, we're already on the road. So yeah, we are getting there. Had the right tool out. 
and then all I'm doing is I'm just crouching down. And I'm sort of trying to dig down and down and down as far as I can go. I'm sort of praying I hit Cobalt, but you know, I don't think that's ever going to happen, no, my luck. Oh, that so, right. yeah, is the next thing, you know, you're going to find this. Unless you change your inventory size, it's going to be a lot of backwards and forwarding. Uh, let's go back to our standard mode. There we go. I have offloaded a load of things, so like those uh, steel pipes and the um, radio components, they're now offloaded, and we are... There we go. So that's going to give us... That basic assembler is going to give us a slightly better yield than um, using the survival kit. But we are going to want to upgrade that as soon as we can to a full-on uh, refinery uh, with all of the added benefits of the um, the modules uh, as soon as we can find gold and stuff like that, which we also need to be able to produce this sort of thing. There we go. That's everything across. So that's also now also producing a ton of our parts. Let's see if we can, if it's going to do everything. Oh, just short two steel plate and five motors. Oh, the, the, the you know story of my life, you know. <laughs> uh, talking of which, when it comes to being short and all that. We're still only at 70 subscribers. Yeah, we just hit 70 today. So thank you to all you guys who are subscribing, following me on, on the channel. Yeah, still want to try and get that up to a thousand. So, you know, come on guys, let's do it. Yeah, you guys subscribe to me, I'll subscribe to you. That's as simple as it goes. Long way going. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's going to do everything we need. I mean, we could just leave all this stone down it, but yeah, let's grab what we can. Let's grab what we can. We got quite deep down here as well, so, you know, so, I mean, I'm trying not to go wide, because I think at this moment in time, I'll still hit some of the stuff for our base, and I'd really be really ashamed to destroy half of the stuff that we've done. Um, I was saying that, I'm going a little wide here, I mean, I didn't realise that. So, what I could do... Everything. 
Yeah, it sort of like tries to blend it a little. So, and if anything, I think what I've done is I've actually made it to curve round to the left. More by accident than by design, you know what I mean? There we go, there's everything though. Oh, no, it's not. Inventory full. Alright, now that's everything, so save for those three rocks. Okay. So that's everything now produced. Can I withdraw eight steel plates? That is true, we need eight more steel plates. Why didn't it... Alright. I must have... Uh, made a, uh, an error in calculations. Okay, so we've got, the, we've got that. And we also need an antenna, which I don't think... We have... Um, I'm so used to a different, new, different layout. So no, we don't have the antenna yet. So what we need to do is we need to search for a way of creating an antenna. And for that we need da, 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 a beacon. So grab the beacon, even if it's going to be like a temporary um, uh, placement somewhere. Oh, that's why I need steel plate to be able to place this thing. Good thing I produced a little bit more steel plate. A little bit more steel plate than I actually needed. <laughs> okay, slap that in there. Right. Do the same thing again. Let's see what we need. What do we need? We need 78 more steel plate. So we'll whack in for 80. Yeah. Uh, 30 construction. Twenty large steel. Ten computer, four radio. Well, I've got the full radio already in there. So, okay, let's grab what we can. Oh, sorry, it's 40 radio. 40 radio, not four. Five, six. There we go. Okay, and unfortunately it's now back down to mine. And a little bit more... Try and widen the sound on this side of it. to widen out. That's okay because we are going to need a heck of a lot of materials anyway because we are we're desperately still trying to create our basic base. You guys notice I've, I haven't touched the pod um, in terms of um, you, to, you know scavenging it for parts and and things like that at the moment. You know it's all Inventory it's all full. been mining 
<clears throat> mining everything, you know, bit by bit. So, but you know what? I think let's get this beacon sorted out. We'll start adding an element of uh, a bit more interest into this because inventory at the moment it's a little dry you know all we're doing is mining all we're doing is going back and forth back and forth you know there's nothing really going on you know it's not really survival is it it's just a mining simulator okay right, guys uh, back I was just thinking you know let's add in the wolves yeah, let's give ourselves a little bit of a challenge on this one. I mean, it does mean there'll probably be a bit few deaths in the way, but yeah, let's let's have a bit of fun with it. All right. Okay, so if they put the assembler efficiency at realistic, blocks inventory at realistic, refineries at realistic. So, uh, okay. Uh, just sort of having to check out through this, see what's going on, because there's a lot of things enabled or disabled. Okay, so let's enable the wolves. Okay, why are there no drones? Alright. Well, right, so there's no economy in here either, so, you know. Okay. Huh? Oh, you muppet. Right. It's because I went into the wrong one. Should we go into Never Surrender instead and do it that way? Okay, so times three, realistic blocks, assembler times three, refinery three, welding two, grinding two. Okay, so that's a bit better. Uh, okay, so enable the wolves. This has got the economy and the weather in it. All right, here we go. We're adding in a an enemy. So, you know, we've got to be careful now. Energy low. Right. So, let's quickly just dump this in. Go to the pod. Now, in the pod, somehow, I don't know how we're going to get to it actually, is uh, keep your eyes open for for these wolves. Um, there we go. Right. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to hit F. Okay. In here is an S10, a pistol, and some information on a local base. Okay. So, right now, we've got the issue of wolves being able to get to us. So... What I'm going to do is in the nine slot under character tools, uh, weapons even, I'll put our S10. We'll load her. 
we'll keep our eyes open. Right, there's that station. Alright. So yeah, we've got the wolves coming in at some point, so make sure we're ready for them. Don't know whether they come down mine shafts. So. Inventory full. That sorted out. Still need to sort out our energy. I know this part is the boring part, the you know, drilling through all of this rock and having the. Inventory. But frankly, full. what can you do? I mean, that's part of this sort of game, isn't it? I mean, we're constantly battling for survival. That's why I've introduced the walls. Um, I'm hoping at some point we actually do get a, a wolf attack so you guys can see. I don't see any of them yet. So that's that sorted out. And then... But yeah, as you can see, we're, we're starting to reshape this to be quite, quite close to what we want. There we go, there's the wolves. Right. 
Wolves also give you components, surprisingly enough. So... Let's drop off these materials. I mean, eventually we are going to run out of pistol... Um, uh, bullets, because we don't have any more... Um, Yeah, we don't have any more magnesium. So we can use things like our welder and things like that to be able to um, you know, get rid of this foe. Sorry, not welder, sorry, the grinder, sorry. Right, so it's now saying all we got left is the steel tubes and the um, the plates. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go disassemble all to get the materials out of them. In the meantime, let's go and grab some more of this rock. Inventory full. But yeah, you hear the pitter patter, you get the wolves. So yeah, a little bit more excitement there. So... Always got to be on the swivel for him. Okay, let's see. If, is the production disassembled done? Yeah. So we can now leave that to go there. Oh, I thought we dealt... Yeah. So these guys will probably be there for a while before it decides to despawn de them. I don't know how long. Inventory full. Inventory full. I mean, what we could probably do eventually is if we put like a, I don't know, spire in the middle with like an internal turret on it, just to act as like a close range defense. Hold on, where am I going? I need to can drill out some more. Is that more straight? Yeah, it's getting there. Plus, we're also getting the materials we need to be able to develop our, um, our little base. So. that way. Alright, so we've got 33 out of, of those plates. So we're almost ready to get our beacon up and tracking. Inventory full. Oh. Tell you what, as soon as we can get some mining drills as well, that'll be that'll be nice. Inventory full. Oh, 
I mean, yeah, large grid stuff is more expensive. Uh, we do need to work on our pod at some point, but we really ought to find ourselves some cobalt first for that. Um, Ah, oh, just short for the for the um, for that last remaining. Okay. Right, by building beacon you've unlocked new blocks. Alright, so we've got a light in the darkness now. Let's heal ourselves up, get our energy back. Okay. So now we've got that, we can now build an antenna. Um, I mean, we could build a satellite dish on something. The question is, is what and where? But um, now, for now, we'll build ourselves. A standard issue. Sorry, I thought I heard something. Yeah, standard issue with antenna. Um, so, what we need. If I press the right key. Right, 40 radio. Eight computer. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, thirty con. Sixty small, forty large. And 77 steel. No, that could change. So I made that 75 steel. So I made, let's, tell you what, let's just do let's just do a stack of a hundred because we are always going to need need steel plate. Um, does mean. A lot more mining down our shaft. out for our, an eye for our friends while we're at it. Inventory full. Inventory full. But yeah, this is part of the fun of starting off a new survival game. 
is the initial grind. It really is a grind. Um, now what we could do... Is once we've got this antenna up and trucking, we've got a better idea of what's in the area. I think the next thing we would need to do is build ourselves a buggy and have a look at that that station that we've had a note about. In, yeah, we've said you know, just, that station might have a trading terminal. Oh, sorry, more, definitely will have a trading terminal. We we can then go in there. We can see if they've got any cobalt. If they've got any cobalt, then it's good for us. Because that means we can start doing things like some forward thrusters on our uh, our pod and start getting start actually exploring this planet a bit more. Inventory full. Drill for a second. Inventory full. All right, so guys, you know, you, you guys all know the drill when it comes to all of this. It's going to be a long slog just to be able to build stuff. So you know, bear with me on this. We are going to get there. I just thought you guys might want to see how a lot of this game is. It is a lot like this. You're going to be, especially in the early game. You're going to be going back and forth, back and forth, building stuff, trying to get yourself a base of operations up and trucking, and then go and explore the big bad world out there. Now, yeah, technically, I could, I could be a little bit more, shall we say, dishonest and actually start building stuff using. Um, creative mode but no that's not what this channel's about we're going to do things properly we are going to do things by the book okay so that's everything out of there now you guys have had some great suggestions on the channel uh, you know, I'm always open to hear new stuff about how to do this how to do it better yeah I'm just strafing the um, the rock face here, trying to get deeper and deeper and deeper. I know some of you are probably thinking, you know, why isn't he, be, you know, just unlocking everything, you know, play, play with everything on lots. I don't know, I've just always been the sort of, um, sort of player, I like the progression, 
I like opening things up, uh, you know, uh, as it goes, you know, playing the game the way the developers intended. Um, you know, a lot of people, they just want to jump into end game content, get it completed sooner. Uh, it just ain't me. It just ain't me. I, uh, when it comes to games, you know, we've got to make it last. We've got to make it last as long as possible because they're not exactly cheap these days. Not exactly cheap. I've said it before in some of my other game uh, walkthroughs, you know, that I've done or uh, parts of, you know, because you guys have not been really that interested in some of the other content, you know, like Windbound or whatever. Um, the, you know, and it comes down to my collection. Yeah, pretty much all of my collection. What I've done is I've found ways of hunting through the game archives, whether it's on Steam or on Epic or, um, or whatnot, to find games for free. You know, I mean, absolutely zero cost. Because this day and age, we're going to need that sort of thing. We're going to need a way of being able to... Um, Save the pennies to look after the pounds. Yeah. And inventory full. Inventory full. Yeah, it's like Epic Game Store each week gives away free games. Uh, Steam, you know, if you if you hunt around, there are a number of really good free games on there. You know. I haven't had one of these drop pods in a while. Where are all these drop pods? <laughs> oh well. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, you run for the hills, mate. As you saw, use the grinder to to get them to back off. Yeah, they'll be back. Yeah, mark my words, they'll be back. But I'm out of I'm out of bullets now in my S10. I've got no idea where there's a mag deposit, so it's sort of forcing my hand really to start going towards the the. Uh, economy route and whoops and start trading with the uh, the outpost I mean I'm not really geared up for it yet but I may have to start thinking about it early beacon off so it's not taking so much power. The detector will sling to maximum. Yeah. What have we got? Still play and um, yeah still got quite a lot of that to go.
and you see I sort of strafe into the wall, go down a bit, forward, strafe the wall again. Okay. Yeah. Inventory full. Inventory. But yeah, full. You seriously, you know, going back to what I was saying, though, this day and age, you know, keep your eyes out for, uh, and open uh, and open for. Ways of getting your favourites for for nothing. I mean, you know, I used to be in the sort of boat where I used to spend out a fortune Inventory on full. video games, and you know, it's it's not a good idea. It's not it's not it's not wise to to keep on spending out the full price on a brand new game just because of the fact that it's a brand new game. I mean, there are games out there that I've been wanting to play for years, couldn't find them, and then all of a sudden they're going for free, you know, and it's like, you know, ooh, you know, yeah, hey, okay, cool. I mean, I just don't understand why people um, would want to spend, six, you know, 50, 60, 70 quid on a video game, you know, Yeah, you know, it's full of full of bugs, full of holes. Yeah, you know, I would I would say wait a while, let the developers sort out the problems, wait for it to come down in price a bit. Yeah, you know, get yourself the game for a fraction of that price. Yeah, you know, or if you're willing to wait longer, you get some little games for absolutely nothing. I, I got Breath Edge um, on Epic Game Store uh, a couple of weeks ago and I play that like when I'm waiting for things to um, to refine and make and all that sort of thing. Um, yeah, especially when you get around to things like Platinum uh, in SE. It takes forever to you know, if you've got like a full, like large cargo hold of that, you know, you're going to be waiting literal weeks for that to refine. So I've, I've had like my computer on for like a week at one point, just refining a large cargo hold full of, um, of platinum. You know, and that's on the maximum refining speed, which is what, times 10? And, uh, yeah, it, it just took forever. And, um, so, yeah, I was playing Breath Edge in the background. Absolutely hysterical game. You know, sort of idea where you're lost in space. You, you know, your ship has hit like an asteroid field, exploded. You're the only survivor. And, um... And yeah, you you just got to find find ways to some of them comical to survive. Um, like uh, a jetpack that works on the power of uh, bodily gases. Yeah, you guys heard me right. Bodily gases. You know, check it out if you don't believe me. You know, because it is absolutely hysterical. Uh, an AI that's got its, a mind of its own and thinks it knows better than you. Um, stuff like that. Yeah. So. I mean, if you guys want me to, yeah, I'll do. I'll do a run through on on, on Breath Edge. Um. 
You know, like I started on Dishonored Definitive Edition at one point, but nobody was really watching uh, my content on that. Um, when it came to like City Skylines, yeah, I wouldn't, I'm not that great at City Skylines. I admit, I've only got I only got now what one DLC. That's the Industrials Pack. I'm still learning how to use it. Um, yeah, I've got my guy Ratform64 helping me out with that. Um, that's me. I've got to get back into it at some point. Because uh, that industry pack opens up so many, so many options. It's like with this, you know, it's like with Space Engineers. When you start getting some of the DLCs as well, it really does open open up options, uh, better ways of doing things, you know, stuff like that. But you know, it's up to you guys whether you want to play vanilla or, or add, sorry, base game or uh, add DLCs. It's up to you guys whether you add mods or not. Personally, I like. Uh, I'm starting to get to the point where I'm starting to like mods because there are there are some guys out there who can write scripts of the well, it's like guys and girls actually who can write script that saves your bacon. I mean, it's like Izzy's uh, inventory manager for this game. Yeah, I mean, once we get to the point of having in, uh, more inventory than just a refinery, I'll show you guys what I mean. Uh, it's, it looks complicated, but it's actually simpler than you actually think. Um, yeah, you know, it's just uh, a different way of doing things. That's the way I look at a lot of this stuff. It's just a different way of doing the same basic thing. As you see, we're getting quite deep now. You know, we, we're starting to get surrounded by the rock on every side. Um, we still need to keep going. As if we're going to get this antenna sorted out and then start building ourselves a rover. I mean, because we are going to need to make ourselves a basic rover just to be able to get to this... Um, this trading outpost. We get to the trading outpost. Yeah, okay. Oh. Told you they'll be back. going down? You're going to keep on attacking me. Health low. Yeah, I know my health's low. Health oh. low. Unfortunately, right. Well, that's one of them down. Forty-two computers on it. Was well, this thing cybernetic? <laughs> right. Where's that other one? Right. Let's heal ourselves quickly before it comes back. If it comes back.
There it is. It's just standing there. <laughs> I think when they're low health, they sort of just stand there and you know, sort of licking their wounds, if they, if you will. Um. Oh, what am I doing? Right. Okay. Um. Okay, I think that's now everything we need for the antenna. Components withdrawn. Okay, so now we've got that. All right, there we go. So that's now built. So... Are you kidding me? We are literally in an area that has got zero. And how in God's name did that get up there? Oh, that's affecting our assembler. Okay, um... Let's grab that steel plate. We're gonna have to, we, we're gonna have to find a way of being able to deal with this thing. Okay, so if I do that... That gets rid of the wolf anyway. I get a seven steel plate for my trouble. I mean, I still would love to know how it got up there. I mean, that just baffles me. <laughs> okay. All right, one thing I am going to do, I just realized, if you grind down one of these to about this sort of point, where would it back up? That'll open up some options for you. There you go. Um, hmm. Well, that was a huge waste of time. I was hoping for some ores to be around here, but. Enable broadcasting. There. There's nothing. It's dead. All right, well, that was a humongous waste of resources. So what we'll do, because we're also thinking about power management at the moment, is we're just going to dump everything back in our inventory. Uh... Inventory, even. Okay, so let's have a look at power consumptions. Antenna at maximum radius is 200 kilowatts. Beacon is only 2 kilowatts. So, yeah, might as well ditch the antenna for now. Yeah. That's going to be a problem. Right, so we will also ditch 
all the other antennas. Inventory full. Really? Just with large steel tubes? Oh, we've got more than that in there. Whoa, okay. Three hundred and three on the steel plate. Oh, we've got a load of those in there. Right, we may inventory full. Uh, let's, let's see. Oops. Let's do. I'll tell you what. I've got an idea. Inventory full. Let's get rid of some of these bigger components that we've got. Ton of nine eighty eight. So like the large steel tubes can also go as well. Inventory full. And we we'll get rid of a load of these radio comps. I mean, yeah, fine. We just spent ages grinding it all out. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Yeah. But at the same time, though. Until we get some cobalt, we're really limited on the space. So it's all about balancing. Okay. Inventory full. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to I'm going to sort out this inventory issue. I'm going to rebalance uh, the uh, proverbial checkbook, and um, yeah, I'll catch you next time where we'll build a rover and we will figure out where this base is and get ourselves hopefully get ourselves some cobalt there, uh, for which we can then really open the doors of this game. And start doing some wonderful Inventory and wacky full. things. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, despite the fact that like I've been pretty much full. doing this episode is rambling. Uh, about all sorts of different things. Uh, be happy. Be nice to each other. Have a great day. And I will catch you next time. Archangelus Inventory out.